is, is that, um, uh, y did you actually run? Because I have never seen you move past a drunken Bigfoot scramble speed. Yeah, what do you call like, running? That's like, it. I, I could see you maybe doing this, like, sort of like you're a but senator you trying to be like, oh, I gotta put a tarp over those dead boys, where it's like in real life, it's like, I've never seen you move past the speed of, like, no. I, I don't know. You should see me passing people on the street with my walk, but with my six foot seven gait. It's, it's a run. The stride. You it, walk. It's like, you do it. Th I've been behind you. Where this you're is like, what I do. And I go, and I go, and I go, and I go, and I go. You just go, so, go. so much move. You're like a battleship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crashing into other people. Uh, but no, I never, I don't have to run. God gave me the benefit of walking fast, but I sweat like a runner. I think you sweat like a man who's guilty of many crimes that he doesn't want to divulge. Yeah, could be. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the stand right now, just like, I did not. I Tax evasion, I would not evade taxes. I'm friends with taxes. Sweaty if Balls I wants to know if, we can, if they can see the rest of the new room. Oh, uh, the new studio? No, we yeah. can't. Well, we got this. They're pretty. Uh, Everything's pretty set. Here. Yeah, pretty set up. But it looks nice, you know. Yeah, we'll yeah. show it eventually when we move to our new room. It's here a new about room. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> we need a new room, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Growing pains. Growing pains. pains. Now, um, this is none of our show. No, that's right. We have a, a producer mandate. Yeah. We we have the, this is not our show. We are not wow. in control of this show. Technically <laughs> Titties is in control of this show. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. This is the titty day. Uh-oh. So Titties, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take the reins from us? Are you gonna be picking up calls and throwing the videos? This is your show, Trap. You know what? I'm I'm happy to get uh you know, get you to Ask me to fire one down the hole. Well, fire or... one down the hole. Fire one down the hole. <laughs> take control. You're, just... You are in. You can fire it down the hole whenever you want, Travis. All right, let's just start it off then. Yeah, let's you're in control. Right. You are in control. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Children. Kids. They're bundles of energy, but they need the right snacks to keep them going. That's yeah. why I give my kids ready bars. A fool. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> it's like Chris Farley Pratt fall, but that's The job's worth doing. It's worth doing right. That's why I use new Solar Shield. Flows on like a dream. Protects against. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Oh, cool. That is These how guys one really of us die? will die. Yeah. I'm going to die from home. Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. No, I play it like a baby. Ooh, look at this one. Okay. <laughs> that will happen. That'll happen. There's one that is that's been approved. Is... So you can move into your new home faster. There's no fees, and it's totally flexible. So if your lifestyle changes... <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Man, that is a hard-ass fall. fall, too, dude. That is a very... Especially for stunt people, you get hurt doing yeah, that how shit. Do you, yeah. And Natalie knows that. How do you fake the fall down steps? Are they fake steps? They can't, honestly. Mostly you... They wear body armor underneath their clothes. Like, they have, oh. like, a thing that's called an armadillo which is like a body piece that you wear and you can roll but you really hit those stairs and a lot Ooh. of those guys are just fucking horrible meatheads well i went to one big stunt meet up with natalie as her like plus one and it was so sad because i was in the other room just hanging out with her, like older people getting hammered while she was doing a bunch of business in the other room with all these like it's big dudes with big leather bands on. Yeah, masculine like, men. Yeah. yeah, they're like slapping each other's arms. They do that like Lord of the Rings, like mm -hmm. handshake to me, like, what's going on, brother? And I was sitting there with this other dude that was like, he's like, I'm a whip guy. And this is my girlfriend. She's a horsewoman. And she's just like, I'm a horsewoman. And I can see because she was sitting in the whole, the whole stool was inside of her. I just saw the, the, uh, the smoke sticking out of her. Oh, I see. Like a walrus. Like, like a, a walrus. walrus's teeth. And so she, but uh, I walk in, it was every single, I was taking a shit in the bathroom in this Mexican restaurant. I was ripping so it up. So hold on a second. So you're in the other room. You are technically her plus one. Yeah. You just took the time to hang out with whip man and horsewoman <laughs> and just found your way to the bathroom so you could take a dump. How is she still with you? She is out there. She is doing business. She had She's to do business. It was business. a big line where she has to like, yeah. she hands out her like, her packet 
Like right. all of her like headshots and shit. Like you go and you meet these like stunt coordinator people. Right. 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 And so I'm in your shit. You are in the bathroom taking yeah. a dump. Yeah. Uh -huh. And shit. And so I'm shit. And, and two guys. First guy comes in right here like, Ur. hey guys. So I guess this is where all the dicks hang out. And they're <laughs> like, ha, 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 ha. They're not comedians. Leave. I'm still shitting. <laughs> Next guy comes in. <laughs> so I guess this is where all the dicks hang out. And they're like, oh, you got him, bro. <laughs> like everybody's just, they're, they are just very dangerous, not very funny people. But you know but, there's one guy with a micro penis is just like, mine doesn't. <laughs> Actually, mine never hangs out. Mine How? just kind of shrugs. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. But on, on, but I will say, and also and as a sidebar, I took close to a 15-inch Duke this afternoon. Wow. I took a long, full, like to the point where the end of the tip of the Duke would then oh, have come right. out of my butt. This is uh -huh. real. Yeah, I know. I like, believe it. Barely kissing my b-hole as like a curl, like an elf shoe. Yeah, like yeah. you're like really you're funny. the world's most disgusting snake charmer. I <laughs> yeah. understand. Yeah. Can we get one fired down the? Yeah. Unless we want a phone yeah. call, Marcus. Call, that's your call. It's what we call a coil boy out Ooh. there. Yeah. Let's right. go to a phone call. <laughs> Live and live stream on the left. Uh, Please tell us how long is it? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's up what? to them. Thanks it for calling in. Very short. Good. Very short. Good. I'm cool. glad that you're honest. Honesty matters. Yeah. Absolutely. Hi, guys. My name is Spencer. I'm just calling to let you guys know that you guys are doing a great job. You guys have helped me through some really tough times. Thank and you. I wanted to ask if you had to pick a male serial killer to fuck, who would it be? Dahmer. We've gotten this a lot. Dahmer? Thank you, Spencer. Inhale Thank yourself, you. buddy. Thank and we're you, happy buddy. to help you through anything I don't whenever get to, we I can. I don't get to tune into last stream a whole lot, but yeah. Hell yeah, buddy. Thanks, Thank Spencer. You, Spencer. You, Appreciate don't it. Don't take Thanks, yourself man. out, but if you're going to take yourself out, get some senators with you. <laughs> well, don't do that either. In the current political climate, we it's really a, can't even joke about that. They should be in fear. Say. They should live okay. in fear I every day of their I, life. I think that they Henry are. does not read the news. He does not. Uh, no, he does he not. He does not know. Uh, <laughs> What's like going that? on? Turn up like the temperature. Does. That is actually where they say Look the big problem with a lot of cooking, and in American cooking specifically, is that we don't turn the temperature up high enough when we cook, and what? that's a part of the problem. Turn we up the, the temperature. Best. America tends to have the best cuisine in the world. Oh, yeah. Well, we steal it from everyone else. Exactly. Yeah. That's and we what make makes it the best. best. <laughs> That's what makes it the best. Uh, Skalrud on the chat, chat says, I'm a 5'3 woman, and I totally have freakishly long shits as well on the regular. <laughs> In relation, like, is it is are they freakishly long in relative to her height? Yeah, like, if I had it, would it just be normal? Yeah. And I don't know why I have to have this conversation. You I was do. just talking about the Afghanistan war. Yeah, you or, were, but not anymore, because that's a fucking <laughs> false flag. Simone Screen. Oh, uh, it's possible. That's, not that's actually, a false flag. That's, going up. I don't even can we get a false flag graphic? Yeah, can we get a false flag? Do you got one? No. <laughs> uh, that'll happen. Uh, let's see here. I want to say Lee, Lee Hutto on Twitter says, Tune in late, and I have no idea what Ben Kissel looks like he was just given a swirly, which <laughs> that brings do. me back to high school, and I feel like I was you just do. given a swirly. How, like, how did they fit you in? They gave you a swirly? a smaller head back then. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean the whole, no, I mean the yes. whole body. It'd be like raising uh, like the Amish yeah, it raising was the a world's barn. worst keg stand. Thank you for making me <laughs> Really it. it was about 15 kids that did it, and I hope all of them are burning in a special place. In call that the old e I actually know for a fact they're all like basically unemployed still in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. But honestly, you s sort of look like if Bo Derek was Andre the Giant <laughs> coming up out of the water. He's a 10.5. Uh, okay, we got Allison. Uh, Elisa Horn says she got a good old ghost story for the boys, so call in, uh, Allison. Call in. We'd love to hear. Um, Titties, why don't we? Fire one down the hole. Why don't let's, you fucking entertain us? Let's turn up Boom. the temperature. Oh my goodness. Turn up the temperature. Can you handle wow. the heat? Fuck well, now yeah. I feel like I'm right back at Fox News. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at those eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> no! 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 Who are these people? <laughs> What's the deal with being the 44th president <laughs> and engaging no, in war crimes? No, partner, oh my God, no. Who else is he? No, it's all the same. <laughs> this is like a space app. 
Henry, this is why you're not getting any roles when you go audition. They're only casting one person. Yeah, I know. I know. The best actor in the world, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> the best actor. I heard of that. Lindsay Not Lohan says, Henry, your tits are gorge. Thanks. <laughs> Look at this. Mom, wow, exactly the same. Wow. Look at the shadow. Wow, they have Ugh. skin. Look at that. Is that a melanoma? No, dude, that's the same freckle. That's the same that's freckle. That's the same freckle. Definitive freckle. Okay. Oh, my God. This is going to... This is what I was saying to you earlier, Marcus. So we had the Face App app, and we like to make go dumb pictures on it. But uh -huh. for a hot second, they had a race filter on it. They yes, had they did. Asian, Hispanic, oh, they got and rid black of it? on it. Oh, immediately. <laughs> yeah, like within because 10 minutes. But I think that that would end in racism. Like, look at this. We're mm -hmm. bringing the Jewish and the black people together by making them the same. Uh, you do understand that there's certain tropes amongst uh, awful websites that think this is reality. The Jewish individual being behind the black man I having mean, power. You do get that, right? Number one, that Barack Obama was so funny during the White House press conferences. Those the correspondence dinners. He, he was. was so funny. And that super pro, good timing, he had good writers. Meanwhile, yeah, in Pakistan, time. just drones going overhead. Dropping massive bombs. But he was so funny, and he pissed off Donald Trump so much that he convinced Donald Trump to run for president. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> if you actually, yes. if you do, if you look at the correspondence dinner where Barack Obama roasted Donald Trump, uh. you can see him sitting there, seething the entire time. Oh, yeah. And you can tell that's the moment he decides. That's the <laughs> moment he decides, I'm going to run for president. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the best at it. Uh, yeah, and but he'll now never we are win. Where uh. we are. So you can thank Seth Meyers. Seth Myers. Wow. I honestly think Seth Myers has done a lot of dumb shit. I hate the show. <laughs> I hate I hate what he did to Saturday Night Live. Every single thing he ever touched turned into fucking garbage. He I started I, yeah. all of this bullshit. I'm not I'm I, for the first time, Henry, in agreement with you. <laughs> I make cogent points. Twenty four seven. But you should have seen. I wish I could have saved the picture of me, um, Asian. Because honestly, oh, with your I could have fixed. I feel like if I just sent that picture to North Korea, mm -hmm. they'd be like, "We are the same." <laughs> right. Well, body-wise, you and Kim Jong Un are. Yeah. But I, 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 I have a dictator's body. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kim Jong Un's taller though. Is he really? Yeah, he's no. tall. I think he's like five nine, five ten. No, fuck that. I that don't like him. that. Dad, he's Travis, a... could you check and see what uh, Kim Jong Un's tight yes. is? Is yes. that it? <laughs> Is that the app? Hi, right, hello. Thank you so much for joining us for last stream on the left. Tell me, do you want to be one of my dolls? God, that's Tell scary. <laughs> so what is that? What is that face app? You guys have been sending me the pictures all day. Yeah, face you're app. fucking behind the times, man. Yeah, get dude. lit. I'm, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna drag you on here. That's a new word I learned yesterday called dragging someone. What does that when mean? When you say, it means being mean to them. Uh, so, so you, you say. Gonna, uh, so, you say something like, like you're just being a drag then. Then you're no, just being no. You're dragging on he's somebody. Dragging you say me down. drag her. Yeah, drag, drag yeah. men. Yeah, drag men. All right. How tall is Kim Jong Un? Five seven. Five seven. Same height. <laughs> See, this is where Henry gets a little bit manipulative with his uh, size. Reality is about what you make about it. Our president taught us that. But what you uh -huh. have to do is, if you have a poster of me with Kim Jong Un like this, like at each other, like Conor McGregor and the <laughs> other guy and Mayweather, yeah. Make sure to get both sides. And you want it, you want people to try to tell which one is Henry Zabrowski and which one is Kim Jong Un. I, I, that would be incredible. But at the same time, I feel like I I could number. I mean, definitely I could take him in a fight. But I feel like if you let me there, if we put some sort of Asian mask on me, mm -hmm. I could make him laugh enough, and then and then he's not going to want to bomb America. Well, now that Jerry Lewis has passed away, we need another person who does something like that. Mm -hmm. And Henry, Man, that God, could God, be Jerry you. Lewis, I can't believe we lost that irascible, fucking screaming idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a legend. And it's sad thinking that one day we'll all be 91 and we'll all die rich. Oh, none of us are making it to 91. Oh. No, 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 no. How do you no, think no. you're going to die? Me? Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to die by either electro electrocution or falling off a ladder. I don't know, man. Dimebag Daryl. I think about that a lot. Just, <laughs> yeah. You know, just some fan who's just super upset with some random position that I change. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, just randomly because we're doing whatever for entertainment's sake. And it's just whatever fucking puts asses in seats. Yeah. But Boonu says he said that uh, he died the day he was born. 
<laughs> I think that I um I, if I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna die from a massive heart attack. But uh, all I yeah. hope is is that before I can do it, all I want is for all of this to end where it's just me wheeled out to an audience when I'm like ninety and me just going like Hail Satan. And they're all like, he still got it. He's so impressive. He didn't say one racial slur. Because then once you get well, past Well, then I don't know if you still have it. Yeah, because once you <laughs> get dementia, when, once you hit that dementia age, the, all the racial slurs just start coming out. Well, you get a pass. You're old. <laughs> it's all God, good. God, God. Uh, Nick Koteski on Twitter says, I never expected to hear you on Fox talking politics and hot button issues. And now we're later talking about bowel habits. Yeah. This is our yeah. life, guys. Yeah. But guess what, man? All colors of the wind. You're like a Pocahontas. <laughs> More like Pocahontas. Fire went down the hole. It's not Travis. even worth it for you to sneak the word in, but uh, let's see. Let's go. Please. <laughs> they never actually made a real itchy and scratchy, did they? No, they, they should have. They didn't need to. I, I guess not. Just for you. <laughs> I like this a lot, guys. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this from the show? Or? No, it is a remix. Could you email this to me, Travis? I, I would, I would like this on my dark days. Honestly, this is fun. <laughs> Are you allowed to drink on Fox News? No. Yeah, that's actually against FCC regulations. Yeah. yeah, yeah what? Weird. There's yeah. so many rules. Oh, yeah, FCC rules. There are so many, especially when it comes to radio. You're not, you're not what about allowed the Rat Pack? To, you're not allowed to be under the influence of alcohol on uh, public airwaves. It is illegal. But yeah. everybody is. Alex Trebek has been fucking lit. Lit. As a, as a, a Nazi's For, torch. Forever. See, I'm barely certain that Jimmy Fallon is currently drunk uh, when he hosts The Tonight Show. See, I'm not Jimmy sure Fallon. if it applies. I don't think it applies to TV. I think it's just radio. Because huh. I remember that rule from uh, my radio days that uh, we remember. I remember you could get in a big trouble for being drunk on the air. I understand, well, but, we did, but, every, but every single classic rock radio didn't, they didn't have to be like five schlitz in so they don't hit their family in the, before getting to work? Uh, I feel like they were. Yeah, I, uh, last time I was in Lubbock, I hung out, a buddy of mine still works at a classic radio station yeah. there. One of the DJs uh, came out to meet with us and he was drunk 24-7. Yeah, of course. Uh, and he, he was a miserable soul, let me tell you that much. <laughs> a radio <laughs> DJ in Texas? I can't imagine. This is our future. This is Don, what we're yeah, gonna end up. Don I mean, Imus is a miserable soul, and he's a successful <laughs> one. He was a nice guy, and, and you know, he was still happy to be in his uh, a station in life, but he was still just like, yeah, you know, like, I can only play Linkin Park so many times a so day. Many times oh, like, tell I can't that even much. imagine that. <laughs> uh, RJ has a question here. Are we doing CrimeCon 2018? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Most likely. They I haven't asked too. They haven't asked us no. yet. But the I, Oxygen I just, Network has not asked us back yet. They have not. But we do know the next Crime Con's in Nashville, and we fucking love Nashville. So I'll I want to be back in Nashville back there. in a second. I fucking yeah. love Nashville. That's the Great town. place to be. Aubrey is awesome. That whole crew, keep on. Oh, I actually, I actually have a very tough question for you, Mr. Zabrowski. Yeah. Henry Zabrowski needs to explain to us, us how the moon can block the sun if it's this a guy. hologram, it's his lunar shields. father. What is lunar father? This is Callum Roberts. Me. This is <laughs> Callum Roberts. Said somebody else. Callum Roberts. Okay, what's going on, Callum? I, I will say that lunar father has also been trying to get his views on the moon being fake out on the airwaves. And this is there's a thing called collective hallucination. Right. We all we want to see there. It's what they blame the UFO phenomenon all the time, which is malignful. I'm gonna say malignful. I don't Where know if that's a go, word, but I'm just gonna say it is malignant. It is a malignant <laughs> opinion. They are going there. They are blaming it's a group hallucination. We all sat there and we believed that fucking thing was crossing. And so what happens? But also, I mean, you know, they just make the moon just hard enough, so it's got effect. It's just hollow. It's Wait, not no, thick. Uh, so uh, it's not a hologram. It is actually. It's a, you believe that it's something. You do not believe that it's a hologram. No, of course not. It's there. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But Buzz Aldrin so wouldn't punch nerds for no reason. <laughs> wouldn't the sun just kind of shine right through it if it was hollow? Like a globe. Like a no, globe. No, you idiot. No. 
The fall, okay. It is solid like a pumpkin would be in a way that you'd understand it. <laughs> or like a big fate butt Pump that you have sex with in a hotel hollow. room. No, I'm just saying like, like oh, when you get one of those big sex butts, it's like you can slap it and feel the meat of it flapping back and forth and you can uh -huh. lick the hole as uh -huh. much as you want because it's there. But once you stick your fingers up in it, what do you find? A bunch of seeds. <laughs> No, you're talking about the fake butt. I'm talking about the fake butt. Oh, well, it depends what you put oh, no. in it. No, 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 the fake butt's made of silicone. That is a solid silicone That's all solid. Uh, structure right it's there. It's got a fucking slit in it so you can fuck it. Yeah, it's I know. It's got a hole in still... it so we can yeah, fuck it. And it's also not pure silicone, because number one, that's super expensive, and also very heavy. Well, it may not be. Actually, no, it would be pure. I mean, my flashlight is pure silicone. <sighs> yeah, but it's a small, it's a Not sleeve. anymore, it's not. <laughs> The fake sex butt could weep. Yeah, no, the, the sex, sex light, butt. The, the, the fake sex butt's got to have enough oomph so you can fucking press up against it. So you can uh -huh. go. Oh, exactly. Why, That's why, why it's why. completely made of silicone. Uh, yeah, yeah. It can't but be I'm, hollow because it's got to have jiggle. It's got to have bounce. Did we have an eclipse yesterday? Yes, we had an eclipse. The moon is just hollow. It's solid enough to cast a shadow, but the back of it's got a butthole like a fucking uh, big fake butt that you fuck, that that's where the aliens go. Or uh -huh. where the Nazis are. Your grandfather's probably there, just running in a big field, Kissel. Just all mm. oh, that's where he went. He mm. didn't commit suicide in Uruguay. <laughs> he <commit> suicide. <laughs> Desperate for answers, and you have to revert back to the classic diss of the man who started labor unions all across the world. They were By the started. way, if you want to watch a great documentary, Hitler, A Career, fascinating. Isn't it fucking great? Fascinating. I but loved not it. funny at all. No, it's not funny? It. No, it's it not is funny very serious. It's about Hitler's entire life, but the optics just went into what yeah. went into making him him. Fascinating it's documentary. That's great. Yeah, Hitler, I bet it's a lot of chutzpah and lifts. And lifts. It's really amazing. A lot of lifts. Very Kim Jong-un-esque. That's for sure. I watched this wow. great movie that's on Netflix that I will also recommend called Gloria. Ooh. It's about this uh, Spanish pop or this Mexican pop star named Gloria Trevi who got worked up in this whole child prostitution scandal uh -oh. with her manager. And she, it's all real. It's all based on a true story. Uh, and it's hmm. uh, fantastic. It's going to be covered on the upcoming uh, Last Podcast Network show, Sangre Escuela. Ooh. Oh, Stick around I'm excited for, that. for this. Stick around all for right. that. Should we do a call or what do you guys think? I think so. All right. We could do a call. I mean, honestly, Titties has got to take control. Yeah, that's right. You got it. It's all up to you, buddy. You do you want here. another this video? One, this one's for Ben. Okay. Hello. I'm Papa John. <laughs> People always ask me, who's Papa I am? The truth is, I'm everyone's Papa. That's true. <laughs> the ancient Greeks knew me as Uranus. <laughs> to the Romans, I was Caius. <laughs> I was the sky himself. <laughs> With the earth as my wife, we made love, and whenever I spilt my seed, life sprung forth. I was castrated by my son Kronos, oh, and from the blood of my wounds came monsters. Better ingredients, better pizza. I still want Papa John's. I thought the sauce was going to come from the blood of his wounds, but... That is great. That's powerful. Thank you, Travis. That Thank is you, really, Travis. really great. That's for you. Thank you. Let's do a phone call. Look at the sweat. It's getting worse. Whoa! <laughs> that is, it's like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You're live. A live stream on the left, and tell us how are we supposed to fix this country? <laughs> well. I don't fix countries, I fix cunts. <laughs> oh my goodness, keep up. Let's, we've said the word twice, that's it for the show. I don't approve it, no racial slurs either. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I wanted to give a shout out to Amy, A-M-I, at notbadluck.bigcartel.com. You seen the sick pin she made? Oh, she did great. We met her in uh, in Nashville, and she's super cool, and that stuff look, looks really good. And she made that new key bump. Well, she made a <laughs> fucking key bump button, and I've got friends that have just lost their goddamn mind over that. Second thing I wanted to say was... Uh, the little story Henry talked about taking a poo. Uh, have any of the three of y'all ever had a love affair with opiates? No. I did for a short period of you time did. in college. I was yeah. really into pills. Thank God you okay, got out so of it. One I've of avoided the, that one. One of the initial... Say that again, Ben. I avoided that one. Yeah, me too. Fucking pussies. 
So one of the uh, great side effects, one of the great side effects is constipation. Oh, yeah. And uh, a, a buddy and I were big duck hunters back in our day, and uh, we would stay up through the night, get to the duck blind at 4 a.m. To do that requires a lot of opiates. Mm. Yeah, and uh, maybe some other drugs. Yeah, and then get back home about ten in the morning, take a little nap, and go hunt the evenings. So my buddy had swung by my folks' house. I was I was still in junior college, and uh, I said, "Hey, let me run in real quick. Nobody's home. I'll be right out." We had a little waterproof digital camera that we carried with us. So I run in the house. I'm in full camo. About 15 minutes later, I stroll out just covered in sweat, and my friend is falling asleep in the front seat. And I get in the car, and he goes, who the fuck you been fighting with? I said, nobody, why? He said, man, you're covered in fucking sweat. And I took the digital camera and showed him the shit that I had just taken, and he looked at it, and he said, that son of a bitch has got five rest rings on it where you had to catch your breath and it still didn't break. <laughs> that just shows the sensitivity of your b-hole. Yeah, power, I guess. Absolutely. It'll <laughs> quiver, but it won't clinch. <laughs> like, it's like a music note. Well, I love that. You could, like, end up a blind person reads it. He's just like... That is fun. That's My boy fun. caught his breath right here. Okay, he kept going, though. He kept going. He wasn't a quitter. <laughs> That's great. Thank, Thank you for you that. That's a good Thanks. thing to do now. I got well, to remember that the the rest. So bumps. the last thing I want to say is that uh, Marcus mentioned the SEC and the radio. I used to live in Ocala, Florida, uh, in the early two thousands, and we would catch Lex and Terry on the radio. And on Fridays, they would have Drunk Bitch Friday. <laughs> Where they would go pick up a woman, a fan of the show, oh my God. her and her girlfriend. Her girlfriend would stay sober. They would bring her into the studio at like 5 in the morning and feed her alcohol until she got on the airwaves talking about her husband's linguine dick or her mother-in-law oh being God. a bitch or whatever it was. And you it know, was maybe it is better the Clear Channel took over everything. Closed it. Honestly, entertainment just used to be easier. It, it really used to be this freer. Is it, this is what it used to be. This is what I radio see. used to be. Thank Monsters. You, thank you, Key Bump. Appreciate well, listen, the call. The last thing I'll say before I hop off, guys, thank you so much for doing what you do because now anytime somebody says, oh, what's up, Key Bump, I automatically know that they're cool as fuck because if they know Key Bump, then they're in on the whole shebang. Fuck yeah, That's dude. Hail Satan as always, man. Well, uh, hail thanks, yourself, keep up, and I want to see you get it on stage soon. We talked about it in Nashville. You're a natural I performer. I said a lot of it, drunk things to keep up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We yeah. all had conversations. We all had confidential conversations with Key Bump. Uh, I had, like, a long thing. I was saying, like, weird-ass shit of just being like, <laughs> we're going to get a boat. Like, I was, like, being like, you and I are going to open a restaurant. We're just going to be calling it Bumps. We're going to eat things oh, that have Bumps my. on it. avocados and kiwis and shit. In the Florida Keys, perhaps. Uh, Craig Gass says, I look like I'm drowning from in inside out. <laughs> That's what happened to Jason Voorhees. Remember that, that when he had the mask and he had to get mouth, ma mouth to mouth? That was Jason versus Freddie. Uh -huh. Remember that? He was drowning from inside out because Freddie was killing him in the water. Uh -huh. That uh -huh. was mean. Yeah. That I is love mean. It. I like that's, Jason so much more than Freddy, but that's just me. That's because you connect with him emotionally. Yeah. Well, I, what, I've always liked Freddy better because well, he's the he's funny fun. one. He is funnier, and technically he's kind of more brutal. Yeah. But don't go drowning a kid and not expecting for that kid to stay in the bottom of the ocean, go meet with the devil, and then inevitably come back up and murder your children. <laughs> just don't do that. That's a really good warning. Yeah. Fire one down the pipe, Travis. All right, this one has zero views on YouTube. Ooh. Wow, except for right now. Isn't this technically Let's its first view there? Let's sing Elmo's song. Do you remember how it goes? Oh well, just sing along with me. This is the song. That's not how it goes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Oh. <laughs> is this your father? La, la, la. This is the song. La la la. La la la. No. <laughs> Why? This is the song. Come on. I almost want to root for her. Let's go. La, la, la. I still Elmo's posted song. it. La la la. La la la. la, la. Elmo's song. La la la. La la la. 
It kind of breaks my heart. Is this breaking I mean, your heart? How oh do you feel? God. I mean, I mean, this is obviously the best, the best take. This is all she's got. This is the song. <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna say this is all I have. <laughs> Documental is saying, is that Jackie? It's not Jackie. Jackie would be doing this on purpose, and it wouldn't be nearly as sad. You get the feeling this is like a grandmother in prison, and this is a video she's sending to her granddaughter, obviously outside of prison. You have to be a professional in this business. This is the song. I feel sad. Oh my god. She got all dressed up. She has been this trying to tell her co-workers about this video <laughs> in her lunchroom <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> I've been doing this fun thing where I'm Elmo. <laughs> you should come by. You should really come by and watch me do it. Elmo <laughs> song. <laughs> so much makeup it took for her to do this. That's like 20 minutes of makeup. Yeah. Oh, at least. Yeah. yeah. Easily. And she had to. Do you think she went out and bought the fur or ordered it online? I think that she found it. <laughs> in a dump. <laughs> and that's where it began. Maybe. Who is she doing it for? Well, YouTube. we don't want to... There Maybe are people it would, I could honestly... The only person I could fantasize her doing that with is Cream Daddy behind the camera. <laughs> Cream Daddy. Just, <laughs> that's hard as a dick. That's great. You know, she is definitely... I mean, you know, obviously she's she's letting her freak flag fly. She's saying yes, queen, to herself. I guess we can't make fun of her for that. She, no, she's I didn't want to. She put out content out there. At least she didn't make it political. <laughs> That's true. It I was... like that woman. I want her to succeed. Yeah, I want her to succeed as well. I want her to learn the whole song and the words. Besides la 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 la, this is Elmo's song. There's a lot more to that song, I assume. But, but she I'm didn't try sure. hard enough, did she? She did seem like a person not to learn that the would... Song. Yeah. In my, in my estimation, if I were to choose a div just by looking at a person, of being like you are, you would probably end your life as a hostage in a bank robbery situation. <laughs> she is one. Like she's obviously gonna have some unfortunate shit happen to her. Honestly, that's how I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Standing my ground and saying you're not gonna take this J.P. Morgan bank, Chase Bank's money. You want to die for a bank? For J.P. Morgan. <laughs> You would have, no, I, what if you do that? You just die of a stroke well, yeah. and not even get murdered. Like you yeah. just, go, huh, 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 <laughs> just <laughs> drop dead. Who knows Man. what's gonna happen? Do you think she was a tickle me Elmo? Maybe wow. tickle me Elmo was the creepiest children's toy of all time. Yeah. I don't see how it passed all the censors, and then I also don't see how it became the most popular well, toy. I ever. mean, to children, tickling is not sexual. That's but just something parents that, are that's the one something that we it. put on it. Yeah, you're making it sexual. Yeah, you're making it no, sexual. No, I'm not yeah, saying... Yeah, it's not like tugging my penis Elmo, where it goes like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, as you tug on its penis, weird little fucking hairy ass thing. God, what a great... Oh, this country is great. We're all free to do whatever we want. We're doing good. Let's go to this next video, titties. Mm. Ooh, I love old cartoons. Mm. Mm. Oh, boy, I want to get that meatball. What on earth is all this? Give me that beef ball. Give me that beef ball. I want that beef ball. Give me that beef ball. No, no, I can't give you this meat ball. God damn it. Yeah, protect I want the meat that beef ball. Well, you don't get the beef ball. <laughs> Did he call the meat ball a beef ball? I think he called it a beef ball. Which just sounds like, it sounds like a 4chan meme, like version of a menu. <laughs> it's a beef ball. Get me beef ball. Someone was mm. saying, like, this guy Luna Father is still saying I'm too scared to talk to him about the moon being a hologram. This is what you created, Henry. Oh. But I'm so, not scared. It's not like I'm scared of the outcome. Like it doesn't you're matter little... to me. I don't have menses. Well, so Henry, it... the burden of proof is on you to prove it's that the true. moon is not a hologram. You need to get up there. Sniff around and figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into a spaceship because it's so small. I have claustrophobia. Mm. And it's got tin foil. T it's like it's tin foil. You're uh -huh. in a tube with just tin foil around you, which is why you can see maybe it's fake. But that's so dangerous. Again, you could have been so smart. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen, you know, with a script. Henry, Henry can memorize a 10-page script like that. I've yeah. seen it happen. Yeah, it's crazy. But then you, you just memorized all the dumb stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying there are many entertainers that have been turned into this. Look at the, look at what's his name from Blink-182. Mark Hoppus. He gave, no, the other one, the bass player. He gave it all up. 
He gave up all the, the, the all the fun, the, the the little people dancing. I don't know what they do on stage anymore in Blink. <laughs> I don't know either, actually. They, they, what's, your, what's that porn star that was in the one? Oh, uh, uh, with the cover. She was on the cover. Yes, that's correct. No, she wasn't a porn star. She was just a lady. No, I think. No, no, no. She, she was wasn't an adult star. actress. Was she? Okay. And now she's changed. Janine? Janine. And I'm pretty sure she does a thing where she tries Janine? to get uh, Dickie women says out of Janine. porn now. She I think she became from? an evangelical Christian, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, Marcus, can you or, or Travis, can you find that? And also, what's the name of the Blink 182 guy? I believe, yeah, it's Janine in the top, uh, with the cover. I think Mark Hoppus is the Blink 182. I don't guy. think Tom it is. DeLong. It's Tom, Tom DeLong. DeLong. Oh. James Toynes. It's Tom DeLong. Well, That's Tom DeLong right. is like, but he gave it all up. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do the same exact thing and finally put my mental acuity to proper work. I just spent two hundred dollars on an annual membership to move on. Yeah. And I'm getting $200? in there. dollars Yeah. What does it get you? I get a lanyard, and <laughs> I get a certificate that makes me an official UFO investigator. This I is, get a have polo. You no, I get this a is, let, 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 let I get a hat. <laughs> I get a uh, VIP access to the meet and greets at the MUFON conference in Las Vegas. No one's going to be there. Actually, there's going to be quite a few people there. I'm so going to be there. I'm going to be there. And I'm going to go there. Yeah, so Charlie Chops on. Maybe I am an OT8. And maybe I'm coming back and I'm going to fucking drop a bunch of bullshit on all you people. I'm gonna, I would love to be on the moon and I'd give you fucking proof. You don't think I would not go to the fucking moon and bring back the, the rocks and be like, check out my fucking rocks. I'm just saying, when I registered to be part of the Burger King's King's Kids Club, <laughs> it was slightly more intelligent than you getting this MUFON membership. Yeah, but you both got a free hat. I got a land. That's true. I have a lanyard, and I have I can get hard copies. They're sending me hard copies of their archives, so I'm gonna have stacks and stacks of archives in my house. Finally, you know, can I interest you interest you in some Encyclopedia Britannica? <laughs> I we had one, and that's how I learned what masturbation was as a child, because you no know, one I couldn't figure out what it was. I kept hearing about it on the internet, and then I lurked it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica, and I started jerking off when I was seven. Let's find this Lunar Fathers yeah. call. The most yeah. studious <laughs> story of the first time jerking off ever. There's somebody, I don't know who's screening the calls, but if you send in, send him on here if he wants to wow. call. If he's got a hologram moon theory. All right. I don't know which is here. What is your area code, Lunar Father? You fucking, if you, you got one window to tell the truth to a thousand people. A lot Fire. of people on the Twitter are commenting on the heat and the sweat. I understand. Mm -hmm. You Thank are you. wet. Do you fire is. one down the hole while we're waiting for this call to be found? Okay, today is the day we're going to DC and to visit the White House. You're gonna love it there. It's this. this is incredible. <laughs> I want you to behave yourself. Thank you very much. Okay, look. Okay. This is the oh, best video this. yet. Here you go. Here it is. Oh my God! Look at this beautiful. <laughs> Look at the art and Look what Oh my goodness Yeah, okay Uh-oh No, no, no No, no Don't Don't No, no Okay No Oh my god you, he, Oh, he's party Look at the secret service running around <laughs> Oh my god No, this is the secret service I told you Don't do it Don't do it Please, please Sit down Sit down What's and gonna sit do? Oh! <laughs> This is actually oh, incredible. Stop, this is a long time oh. to make. Stop farting, stop. Stop farting, things. Oh my god. Fuck it, fuck it. This is what grandparents have to do to spend please. time with their children no, no, in 2017. No, no, I love it. No, I, no, I, no, I would no, love no, my grandkid doing this. This is hilarious. Oh. Oh, you disrespecting the white house, disrespecting the secret service, disrespecting the secret service. Wow! Wow! Predicting the future? I miss him. Oh, I love the rock. the rock. He should be president. Oh, by the way, no one. We got to talk about SummerSlam. Braun Strowman should have won in the Fatal Four Way. It was pathetic that uh, Lesnar won, and Roman Reigns needs to get out of the WWE. Four Way, huh? Yeah, Fatal Four Way. <laughs> Were you there? <laughs> No, I went there before to hand out some flyers, and then I just watched it at my home. And it was very exciting. Jeff Ross and Michael Che were in the front row, ah, and I passed out all like, my. They didn't get you in there. 
No. Mm. Uh, I pass out all my flyers <laughs> thinking we will get on camera, uh -huh. but then they purposely avoided showing my posters. Oh. So Vince McMahon oh, is colluding pointedly. with my yes, enemy. Exactly. With Eric it's Adams? the big money. Yeah, yeah, perhaps. I don't know what the evidence shows. but Something <laughs> happened. But you'd have to get equal airtime, and then Eric Adams would have to actually wrestle. <laughs> in yeah. the next SummerSlam. Um, yes. All right, so it's a 573 area code. Where is this dude? If he fucking calls, or it's your live and last stream on the left, uh, how long is it? Um, 3.7 centimeters. Great. All right. Okay. Going back to Metrica. Lincoln Chafee won. So are you Lunar Father? I am. I am the Lunar Father. All right, father. so run okay. through your fucking, you got, you got a minute... You got a minute. You got a minute? I'm going to time it. Elevator pitch. You got an elevator pitch the hologram moon okay. theory. Hold on. Let me tell <laughs> okay. you when to start. All right. Okay, start. You got a minute. Okay. Go. All right. What happened was Reagan wanted a space program so that way he could easily monitor the Earth. So he set up projectiles to blow up the moon, right? Because the moon used to be real. It's not always fake. Mm -hmm. And then in 1991, Soviet Union collapses. There's no one else up in space. Reagan blows up the fucking moon. Replaces it with a satellite of similar size, so we still have tide, and makes it into a hologram. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I do believe that there is possibly a breakaway civilization, right? I do believe in the idea of a secret space program. Oh, that's amazing. So that's the damn hologram moon right there. Yeah. Now, I do believe that. My problem is the logistics of hologram room, and why are women's periods not getting messier? I actually don't know if that's not if that's. Science. I don't think that has anything cool. to do with it. Okay, you're really? on the clock. But my thing is, is that nope. it, the periods are related to bears. Yeah, I know that I understand as well. I know so that's a Native American story thing. You guys have 20 seconds left. But you saying so? What exactly makes up the hologram moon? So what exactly is the hologram moon? It is a satellite that projects a hologram into outer space. Now, the purpose so is just to keep up... people think there's a moon up there and there's not some kind of listening station. So your idea is to say that that's just to keep up the status quo. All right, that's yeah, one yeah, minute. <laughs> people out. It'd be that like, is you know, one minute of this area, conversation. Dogs in the street. Now, I Marcus, do believe that the ISS does I'm, use the moon as like some kind of pinion point. And technically, our weather has not changed and our tides have not changed. So there has to be, I think there's got to be something up there. There's a moon! It's a moon! You a satellite of similar size. A satellite of similar size. You can't have a satellite the size of the moon! So I mean, you mean well, it's like a I mean, plaster? technically the moon is no, a satellite. You can't have the, the moon is a satellite, so you can have a satellite the don't, size of the moon. Because the moon it. is a satellite. The moon is not a satellite. The moon it is, is a planet. planet. By definition, the moon is a satellite. Is the according moon a satellite? To Dave Matthews, according yeah. to Dave Matthews and his band, satellite. the moon is a satellite. All right. Yeah. Well, he had a phone call crash into me, so maybe you're saying the moon's going to crash into us, and we had to blow it up. Holy shit. <laughs> Powerful stuff. Thank you so much. Honestly, you got your shot, and I, and I think that you convinced no one. But no one. I do think I that you know. had a shot, and I'm glad that we gave you an avenue to, to just talk about your alternative theory, because this is just a consensus reality. So somewhere in the middle is the answer. Equal time. It so is I, equal time. Well, tell people to follow me on Twitter. Ask Lunar Father. You got it, Lunar Father. Follow the at Lunar, Lunar Father, Father on Twitter. I really hope that this doesn't come back to haunt me. Just keep it to the moon, buddy. As long as he keeps it to the moon, then he's fine. No. All right, Stephen Daz. Oh, no, rather, Sarah says, completely agree. Braun is the best. He should have won. Anyway. Are we talking about the Fatal 4-Way? The Fatal 4-Way. How is it fatal? It's not, it's, it's not really fatal. <laughs> they have to wrestle probably tonight. But it's truly a 4-Way. Yes. Not in, in what a, sense? In, not in a sexual sense, in a wrestling sense, which is also kind of sexual to some people who watch it. They say here, someone here is uh, uh, Echeverian says, I feel like every minute Ben spends with them, his life is shortened. <laughs> yeah, this is how I'm going to die. You are so slick. Mm. Well, look at me. But you honestly, clean. you look very handsome. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You we can argue like about this, this all day. You look handsome. You look sort of like, I mean, you just, again, you just look oh! like younger Lyndon B. Johnson when he was barely making it through law school. <laughs> Travis, do you want to do a video? Yeah, let's go. All right. Do not be afraid. Hmm. We've seen something like this before. I've never seen this one. I, I've never seen this, but I thought we watched the light. We did. It was like. A it's a recurring <laughs> character. Okay. I love skinny clowns. Isn't it? It's a chicken type clown. Is that what this is? It's a, like more of a.
It kind of looks like if Stephen Hawkins got out of his chair. <laughs> Man, how smart would he be then? But he'd be too busy running down puss. <laughs> Huh. Okay. <laughs> something to think about. <laughs> it's something to, it is something to think about. So Henry, when you were having your kind of conversation, which I apologize, I wanted to do Luna for one minute and you for another minute. It really gets I'm sorry, back and we forth. Should so, that, we should have set that up. I'm sorry. That's okay. We'll, we'll have to redo it. But what do you think? Uh, because we had ourselves, that was, that was a, I guess, a nerd off in a way. It was. But quite interesting. It, I was very intrigued Marcus, by both. Marcus, who do you give the victory to on that one? Because we'll have to do that again. I mean, technically, I've got, I mean, if we're going just by the rules of debate, I have to get it to Lunar Daddy. Wow. Or is it Lunar Father? Lunar Daddy's fine. I got, I gotta go, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with Moon Daddy, because Moon Daddy put forth the best argument. Henry, Moon wow. Daddy just wow. said stuff. It didn't really, I mean, Henry had a couple of good points, but really, Moon Daddy's arguments were more sound. Wow. Hmm. You know, it, he has, because he said Reagan, mm -hmm. space program. He did. And he I said the Soviet Union. <laughs> he said Soviet Union. He threw dates out there. You didn't say anything about dates. I oh, said no dates. God. It's true. It's true. And as a true conspiratorial, like, uh, in a conspiratorial argument, you need to say the dates. Right. 1963, 1977, 1991. 2001. Like those yeah, are all right. like you have to. All of those are very important years to just say. Those are all dates because then, and if he's saying dates, then he must be talking about history. And as we all know, history is fact. Or you just make up dates and what this happened during is, those history days. History is what we've all agreed is fact. <laughs> exactly. Right? And again, and I like agree have, to but... anybody that comes at me with any sort of you know saying that something's fake, I have to say yes because I do believe that all perspectives are real. History is a lie agreed upon. Agreed upon, right? And then we are laying, and, and, and our cities are built upon, there he is. There he is, Lunar Daddy. Now, That's like, Lunar oh, Daddy? That, that is Lunar Daddy. He's got oh, a real moon face, like a Jerry Brutus. But he has, but he has your eyes, Henry. Is yeah. that Henry's eyes? <laughs> he does. Henry's been the moon the whole time. The whole I've time. The, the whole time, Henry. The whole time. All right, I Travis. Wish. Let's see another one. Do we want to make another phone call? Let's oh, do whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of a phone call and see what the people call. think. Okay. Welcome, you're live and live stream on the left. Tell me, am I the handsome one? Uh, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> Everyone agrees with that. Beautiful ginger angel. <laughs> he is an angel. He is an angel. <laughs> Okay, Henry, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got it. All right, what do you well, want? I just have a quick question for you guys. What's well, that? I a quick question. I was wondering if we, I would ever get to see Bird Luther on the show. I, I, oh, would, we would, would love Bird to have Luther, Kevin on. Would he grace us with his presence? Pro I hope probably so. Probably not, no. I mean, he's cla he's, I mean, I would love so. He's no classier than us. I heard that New Orleans story. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I heard that New Orleans story too. Yeah, yeah. but he's yeah. not doing the Carmichael show. So what else is he doing? He should nothing. be on that the show. That is true. He what is he doing? Nothing. He I nothing. think he is uh, just kind of living off that almost 1.5 million dollars he made while doing the Carmichael <laughs> show. So I think he's going to be just fine for a while. Do you think he's just waiting it out until we really want him? Yeah. Honestly, we're going to do something. Maybe. We're going to do some fun, like, live thing, all of us together at some point. So you're going to see all of us on the same stage and on the same show. And it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, that'd be so great. Yes. Only if everyone just shit on holding the entire time. Oh, we, we would happen. have no other choice. We will, absolutely. Thank you so much for calling. We're going to make sure we're going to start tallying votes of people that have asked Kevin Barnett to be on the show. And we're going to try and get him on. Yeah. And then when awesome. he... Awesome. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you, you for you're saying awesome. it. What's your name? Oh, it's Jess. Good work, Jess. Thank you, Jess. Yay, thanks. Thank Bye, you guys. for the vote of confidence. Now, we have here, Ancient Jeffries <laughs> asked me here for David Bowie. Good work, Dave. Good name here. But isn't there a Very limit nice. at some point, like if I'm in a room with someone, we're both standing on a floor on solid ground, one of us could insist that the floor is now putty, but it wouldn't change anything. How hard is he making you believe it, though? What? I totally missed that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Let's, never learn. I, I stopped as soon as you said uh, Agent Jeffries. I started thinking about Twin Peaks, and I started thinking about David Bowie and the Black Lodge, and it just I, I zoned out. Have you seen Missing Pieces yet? 
Missing pieces? Twin Peaks missing pieces. It's the stuff that he cut out of Firewalk with me in order to make sure so he could be basically cinched up the Firewalk with me storyline to be just about Laura Palmer. He has all he shot a bunch of extra shit, and there's a bunch of Agent Jeffrey stuff in there that's really interesting. Oh, have you read the uh, Secret History of Twin Peaks yet? I'm I have it open. You need to finish reading it. It's so amazing. There's so many secrets to I've see. I've been reading this book by Richard Dolan called Twug UFOs. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wow. God. I didn't even have to oh, do it. God. Travis, you it. felt it in my soul. Oh. We've got a nerd alert, ladies we've and gentlemen. Mainly, we've been waiting 25 years yep. for new Twin Peaks stuff. Honestly, what put it over the edge was when you guys kept on talking about reading. <laughs> um, all right, let's do, let's do another video. <laughs> <laughs> most trusted man. <laughs> and the most Can't trusted show. Your pants. Is your mouth watering yet? Why is it we love superheroes? <laughs> is there anything you can do about it? Do you have trouble falling this is asleep? Literally I feel all, tired. all the time. Side effects may include diarrhea. Mm, amazing. <laughs> do you know how your laxative works? There. Eat and go. For those who gaze up at starry skies and ponder the vastness before them, asking why, where, and how. <laughs> Listen up, guys. Today's the day. Today's the day. I am. I am. I am ready. I am totally blind. I'm a potato farmer. That's Pepe. That's Blanca. Your brain changes as you get older. Then, out of nowhere, crying. Third time that day. <laughs> One in four people have already experienced it. Just like you. Just like you. Start here. Take control. Whip, bam, bam. Four words. Your suicidal thoughts or actions. Power <laughs> through. Keep it clean. <laughs> Enjoy the relief. Make the smart choice. Rejuvenate your luck. Let it sink in. See how sweet a lobster dream can be. Discover how comfortable <laughs> life can be. If you love something, set it free. Turbo shakes to bust that gut. Free. Call us right now. Just make the call. You could be losing thousands of dollars. All of my money was gone. So simple. Everything's better. Pain. Pain does not <laughs> care. I found a permanent escape. If you're like me and you like to eat, this is what you get to do. I got to <laughs> eat, and I got to eat a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Pancakes or bacon and eggs? We are all at risk. Good. <laughs> Strong drugs. Everything's better. <laughs> it's just better. Better. More confidence. More libido. More testosterone. <laughs> Come home with me. There's a bed where you both get what you want every night. <laughs> You're not doing it. Your body was made for better things. <laughs> we only make one thing. <laughs> Uncontrollable how crying or this? laughing that doesn't match how you feel. And there's nothing wrong with that. When did mixing food with not food become food? Prunes. Laxatives. Still constipated. It's like a fever dream of America. Constipation. It really Big is. Ageless male. Right now, they're just allegations. Leave worry behind. I believe in you. Powerful. Powerful. America Those are is wonderful. If you get a chance to just watch television, uh, television news commercials, they are the saddest commercials ever. Because yeah. the, the, the demo is like 50 dying. to 70. Yeah, dying so, people. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah, people with a lot of problems. It's yeah. just my grandmother used to sit with my grandfather in an urn on the chair next to her thinking that I was Glenn Beck and yelling <laughs> at the television. <laughs> Blanche on here talks about, or Blanche rather, talks about, uh, I'm only concerned about Brock Lesnar's severe brush cut and the possibility of a suplex city bombing. Great point. <laughs> yeah, Bro Brock Lesnar does have the best brush. Well, I don't know. Ken Shamrock also had a pretty solid brush cut. That's Who true. Who are these people? Who Wrestlers? are these They're people? <laughs> What's the deal? I only uh, follow our true, like our true heroes. The mm -hmm. men and women that fought for the Confederacy during the horrible aggression <laughs> against the South. <laughs> How you managed to actually make that work is impressive. <laughs> um, uh, I, I've had some people ask, guys, can titties make an appearance on the show? Can titties reveal get themselves? Get over come over here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, come on. All over. right. The, uh, do we have one more video, Trap? Yeah. Well, okay, we got one more, but before the right, final video, on. let's, let's put, a, let's put our hands, hands together. To the there he is. Today. Look there at him, man. What a guy. Look at him there. Look, look at this kind of. There he is. His body that does not stop. Look ready at to that. fuck. Always ready to judge. Just ready to go. That butter. There Everybody it is. Go. Call wow. him the Georgia Furball. The Georgia Furball, indeed. No idea what that means, what I just said. No clue. <laughs> no idea. No idea.
No idea. Um, let's uh, let's fire it off with one last video there, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Bobby, I want you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I want oh you to get goodness. the fuck out of here. Every <laughs> <a> single day. <laughs> get out of here. Being a ten-year-old Ben Kissel was rough. Get out of here, bitch! Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> let's see that one more time. Wow. What's the name of this movie? Let's see that one more time. <laughs> and I'll like you to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, what that is my ringtone. Get, 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 get out of my room. I've gotten a lot of interesting titties is the handsome one. Titties is the, it looks like a, a Pepe worshiper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that no. Was back is that in an insult? I don't that's, an, that's an insult. Yeah, that is oh, definitely okay. an insult. That yeah. was fun back in the day when I thought Pepe was funny. I thought Pepe was very funny as well, especially when they put Pepe's face on Kim Kardashian's butt. Yeah, I always laughed at that. Mm -hmm. Now, gotta... Travis Morningstar at Gmail, that's his email. Make sure you send in videos for the week. Do we have any viewer submitted uh, videos, titties? Uh, I think we're going to do that next week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got I, some do, I do have a, I have a preview of what, uh, what I'm opening on the train in the morning. Um, so let's just take a look at one of my emails here. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's a screen. That's a good <laughs> preview. A, a just, screen Kelso, what? just Kelso asks, when you die, what would you like to be transported into your final resting place? I want to be eaten, eaten by Paul Moraney. That's mine. <laughs> Hillary Clinton ate my asshole. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, I bet she did. All right. Wowie wow. Man, God, she's still lost in that forest? What is she? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Give speeches. Know. Yeah, hangs just, out. Just be rich. Tweets, and... a, tweets every once in a while. Yeah. yeah she, she's kinda... living a fucking easy life with her fucking little d tiny shoes and her big knees. Her mm. giant head and her mm. fucking weird square body and her fucking shitty attitude. <laughs> do you want to do another uh, final video from Primitive Man? We could do a music video from them. They were very appreciative. They, they, they were very nice. good. Right? They were great. I, were I, they very a good band? I very much. Was that a bad idea? Man. Get the I'm... fuck out of my room! <laughs> oh, I like that too. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do it. Are we gonna end on this? I guess so. Sure. All right. So this is from Primitive Man. I don't know what it is that they do. So uh, have yourself an excellent Tuesday. There's just nothing. There's very death metal-y metal. Gurney Sanders, there is no <laughs> deadline for submitting videos. You can't do it. So thanks, Lunar Daddy, for calling in. Yep. Um, we've been uh, live for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We'll be back here next Tuesday. Yeah, dude. Start sending those videos. Travis Morningstar Gmail. Fucking flood that email. Yep. Whatever it is that you find. Yep. You know what the show likes, so make a video that you think we would air. Yeah. Or send or a video. Or find a video. That, yeah, you don't have to make, make it, but it. if you want to make it, and that's fucking great. I would eat Hillary Clinton's asshole for $25,000. Thank KRVS1. 25000 Yeah. I'd need less. Ten. I'd eat her asshole for ten. Yeah. I'm just so happy this is the way we're ending. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Thank you, peace. Hail yourselves, everyone. Hail Satan.